how does it feel to finally arrive in the Arctic? It's kind of cool actually. <laughs> it's uh, quite what I was expecting. It's, it's a bit sort of ramshackle, but it's a beautiful day out there. Sun shines, clear, crystal clear, really cold. You feel your nostril hairs freeze up straight away, which is kind of fun. Oh, sorry. Everybody's sort of talking about the uh, the nasal hair going on, and that is a weird sensation. Um, just immediately sort of froze and made you realise, fuck, I've got more nasal hair than I actually thought. So that was weird. Well, it was pretty cold when we got off the plane, but not as cold as it could have been because there was no, luckily, no wind. So it's the first taste of what's to come, and we've been told it's a lot colder back up at Resolute. Oh, it's amazing. It does look like, like on the moon. It is amazing outside. Pretty cold, but like some yeah, with the jacket, no problems. Well, it's, it's like Christmas all over again, isn't it? You finally get all the luggage. All up here, everything is here. What a relief. <laughs> yeah, very happy. So every, every weapon is different. It's very interesting learning the me mechanisms of a new weapon. Um, I'm used to seeing shotguns and uh, a variety of army weapons, but this is different. It's good. It's, uh, it's, uh, I think it's going very well, and I think uh, the, the execution of the lesson is very, very good. If I should use the word execution. Because <laughs> I think I know it's going to hurt. I know it's going to rebound back off me. Yeah. So I think, oh, I don't want to do it because I know it's, that's what it's going to sound feel like. I did that when we were practicing different. at home, oh, we did that and it because I kept whacking against me and okay. I just kept doing that with it, instead of always falling out of the traps. I think yeah. it's so I don't go into this enough. Don't anticipate. Hit the target? Yeah, hit the target, hit the target. My favourite position is the kneeling position, so I discovered that. Um, yeah, and once I got into the kneeling position, hit it smack on centre every time. And uh, just remembering all the bits and bobs, but on my last shot I got everything absolutely spot on, so feeling bloody good about that. Tent up, it's certainly a fair bit trickier in the cold. Um, it all gets a lot more taut and uh, the poles are that bit harder to get in. Uh, but we're all set up now, we've got our uh, roll mats and thermo rest in there, we've got the stove set up. Um, we're going to come back out here with the sleeping bags later on and a few creature comforts like pillows and stuff and uh, ready for our first night out in Resolute. But uh, yeah, all set, good to go. Hi, my name's uh, James. And I'm Jake and we're Team Refuge and uh, tonight's our first night in a tent in the Canadian Arctic. Um, but we, we must admit we've had it a bit easy today. We've just been inside the hotel. We both had a hot shower, moisturised, <laughs> we're both fairly comfortable. Yeah. And um, now here we are, um, nestled up in our little tent. This is a team of brass monkeys. Um, from the far end we have a Chris Wilkinson, superstar. Right in the middle here. Charlie Cooper and myself, Danny Munden. We've uh, settling in for our first night out in the wilds. It's um, it's been entertaining. Got the tent up, very cool, and uh, set the burner going. And within five minutes, we're stripping clothes off. So, in actual fact, we're all naked in here in the monkey pen. Hi, I'm Roddy Caxton Spencer from Two Magnetic Team, and it's good at this stage of the race that we're winning. <laughs> and, uh, although the others don't know about that yet. <laughs> I think so, your tent is actually slightly further north than the rest of them. Yeah, exactly. So we are winning. <laughs> Only another 400 miles to go. <laughs> yes, my name is Raymond Aaron. I'm a Canadian. I'm the only Canadian who actually lives in Canada who's on this trip. So you should know the way. I should know the way. <laughs> and we're in our tent. We've been in this tent before, but never in the extreme cold. It's minus 20 degrees, and yet it feels wonderful. It, we're, we're really well acclimatized. We've been well trained. We've got just great equipment, great organizers, and we're ready. The racers endure an intensive Arctic training week upon arrival in Resolute Bay, in which many of them are learning how to ski for the first time. <laughs> we believed we had a slightly more successful night in our tent than we did last night, the night before. How did it go? Very well. We were seamless, I think. Mm. Bits, we took our time this morning because we wanted to, and we could. And um, But no, everything didn't spill water, didn't we anywhere. Got both stoves going, almost sweated. Progress has definitely been made, it's been quite nice. Good. Well, this has been an entertaining day. Never uh, cross country skied before, so this is our first. How's it been going? It's been going quite well, actually. I'm finding it easier than walking, strangely enough. As a team, we've been doing quite well. The boys have been moseying along nicely. It's good, a good. Nice, easy day. Hi, Richard. How are you doing? That was great fun. 
So what have we been out? An hour and a half, is it? About an hour and a half out skiing for the first time, just been skiing for the first time. So uh, I don't think we've disgraced ourselves at all. And uh, It's going well. Yeah, it's going well. And uh, we're not going to be racing snakes, we're not going to be the first ones in. But, uh, we're solid, so it's grand. If we, didn't, if we stopped today, if we didn't see anything else, yeah. that sea of ice and the beautiful aquamarine ice sculptures, it was worth seeing just, just for that. It was worth coming here just for that. It was really wonderful. There's a lot of faffing going on today, but we kind of know how and why we've faffed, so we're not particularly worried about it. We're not moving as fast inside the tent as we could do, but like I say, it's just part of the learning curve, really. And do, having done what we've done, we've identified the right order we should be doing things in, which is going to speed things up um, tomorrow night or tonight and subsequent nights. So, yeah, we're pretty comfortable about it, really. So, we're having our first day out. Proper day out of this. No polar bears, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Oh, I'd love to see one. As long You're... as I'm not attacked by one, I'd love to see one. Oh, that was awesome. It's uh, done about three nautical miles. It's um, such a fantastic day. You're just sucking it in, just making your way down. Bit of rubble here and there, but it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, really comfortable. Um, it's, uh, yeah, the scare stories out there of being uh, too cold to be able to walk, it's just, it's beautiful. All the right kit, feeling fantastic, and just kept on going in the right direction. It's been brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Grass Monkeys, your first to your campsite on day two. I believe so, yes. Another glorious victory for Team Brass Monkeys. I'd like to say it was all me, but I can't, because this is a full-on team effort and the boys are absolutely wonderful. Well, the weather's looking really good at the moment, but uh, you guys should know the weather forecast is quite severe for tonight. <laughs> oh, wonderful. How's 70 kilometer gusts and blizzard conditions. Wonderful. Let's get the so, burners on in, boys. Dig your tent in well. <laughs> that sounds fine. We'll look forward to the morning. I think we'll get back the into the blizzard. The blizzard is set to con is set to continue on to into Sunday, so you may be uh, navigating back with your GPSs tomorrow. Hi. We're a little bit nervous because at the moment our camp routine is a little bit lax and that we have, as you can see here, our bungees, which are pretty essential, just hanging off skis, harness. Open. I mean, if we had 15 mile per hour winds now, we would not have anything other than ourselves. Bungee, attach it to my pole and attach it to one of them in the holes, okay? Hold. Morning, boys. Yeah. Get the bungee. How are you doing? We're doing fine. All right. Okay. Yeah, a bit difficult getting the old yeah. uh, pegs out, but uh, we're getting there. Right, I'm just trying. Wow. Have you got your poles out? So, just want to get the tent down. It's really good to practice actually with a bit of a blow, because I know we're probably going to come up with a few of these. So, just get the thing down and get back to Resolute and get our kit sorted out. I've got a list that big of things I want to get done before tomorrow morning. The competitors battle their way back through the bad weather off the sea ice to Resolute Bay to complete their training. However, some teams are feeling the cold a little less than others. <laughs> very next morning final preparations are underway for the departure of the polar ice. Yeah, I'm pretty confident. We've uh, got the elements of a good team here. Maps are reasonably accurate. We found some pretty logical points keeping about a mile offshore, staying out of rubble ice and all the associated rubbish involved in that, all the humping and bumping and stuff. Nice day for a 350 mile stroll. <laughs> good day for Bit blowy out, although I think it's warmer than it was, so it doesn't look too bad. But I want to get on with it. Just as the race is about to begin, the weather suddenly takes a dramatic turn for the worse. This is not going to be an easy first day. John, how you doing? Yeah, really well. It's uh, blown a bit of a hoolie to start the race, so I suppose it's a bit of a baptism of fire. I'm here. But uh, yeah, pretty really good. We've uh, done all our planning and preparation, and. Uh, just ready to rock now, really, so yeah, bring it on. Yes, the countdown has started. Butterflies, definitely, but the wind doesn't seem as bad in the shelter. 
now just ha can't wait to get going. A little nervous for sure, but once we're on our way, hopefully we'll go reasonably in the right direction. <laughs> yes. You ready to go? I am, we're ready. We're confident, I'm happy. I got the best teammate a guy could have. We're starting in just a minute, it's so exciting. Um, it's been a very, very good week preparation. Now it's all coming down to actually whether we can actually get 350 miles all the way to the pole. So really looking forward to it really more than anything else. Started five minutes ago. You can see everybody racing off into the distance. Keep going! Charlotte and Sarah, the blue tits there. Mum and Richard up ahead. 